please. First of all, thanks for volunteering to defend our nation and congratulations on being the first Americans to enlist directly into the United States Space Force. If you'll raise your right hand and repeat after me, I'll administer the oath of enlistment. I state your name. I, Stacey Biggers. Do solemnly swear. Do solemnly swear. That I will support and defend the Constitution of the United States. That I will support and defend the Constitution of the United States. Against all enemies, foreign and domestic. Against all enemies, foreign and domestic. That I will bear true faith and allegiance to the same. And I will bear true faith and allegiance to the same. And that I will obey the orders of the President of the United States. And that I will obey the orders of the President of the United States. And the orders of the officers appointed over me. And the orders of the officers appointed over me. According to regulations. According to regulations. And the Uniform Code of Military Justice. And the Uniform Code of Military Justice. So help me God. So help me God. Congratulations and welcome to the United States Navy. Look at him. Look at him. Go like this. Go like this. Go. Alright, ready? Guys, we're racing. Get over it! Get over it! Get over it! Catch him! Catch him! Catch him! Hurry up! Hurry up! Catch him! Roar! I'm up here! There you go, there you go. Catch him, catch him, catch him. Ooh. Shimmy, 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 shimmy. That hurts. I'm a bear. Four, I'm a bear. One. 18 in English. 23, you know, potato, potato. 29. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, still, like, at least you can. Black tape, you're done. Make sure when you get on the rope. That's that black tape. Make sure you flat. Go over the logs with the red paint. Head to red.
Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Push yourself. Let's go. Let's go, Space Force. All right. Yeah. Yeah. So when your leg comes up, your arms come up at the same time. Okay? Like you're doing a pull up and pulling through yourself at the same time. Now. Let's go, stay low. Good, good. Get on until the first one gets off. Yes. You're facing that way. This side faces this way. Trying to scare the terrorists by smiling? Sure. This security proceeding! One, two, three, four! The security proceeding! proceeding. Rear, Rear security, security here! here. Safe. Rear security at DFP3! Rear security proceeding! Sea weapon, target weapon! Halt! Spread your fingers, spread your feet! Two! Seventeen. Full voice! Take six steps away from the sound of my voice! Spread your fingers. Take slowly drop to your knees. Lie down on your stomach. Spread your arms in the shape of a T. Palms up. Spread your fingers. Spread your feet. Face forward. Three. Nurse Stuart. Stuart. One, two, three. Rear security to DFP three. Rear security, security proceeding! Alright, sit it easy. Alright, relax. Now. Okay? Yes, yes sir. sir. Alright, so, while we're waiting for all this to figure itself out, right? Um, I'd like to do an introductory since there's only seven of us. I don't know how much interaction you've had with each other. So, I will. Ain't nobody. Anybody who's dorm chief, film leader, had to stand up. You guys don't do that? All right. Sit it easy. Yeah, I really love being like fit and active in sports and all that. All right. Thank you. And one fact about me is that I am the first female in my family to go into the service. Sir. Okay. Copy that. I'm 31 years old and um, I love to read. Thank you. Sir, training Ingleby reports is over. Tell you about yourself and I can't tell you, but you know, you should know a little bit about me, right? Yes, sir. So we'll be teaching, me and another person, Master Sergeant Palmer, will be teaching you guys all your Space Force curriculum from here on. So, you should know, I'll give you just a little bit about me. So, again, my name is Master Sergeant Huntley. I am originally from Springfield, Massachusetts. All right, let's see, 2012. So from 2012 to 2017, I was at Buckley Air Force Base, or now we call it Buckley Garrison. 
I was there from 2012 to 2017 as a space system operator. You know, people in the Air Force that can't join the Air Force because they can't deploy. But you don't deploy in the Space Force for the most part. 98% of you will not deploy. So why am I, why is that something, a limitation that I'm going to put on the Space Force when we want the best, we want the brightest? Okay. What else? I honestly didn't know that the Space Force was actually a thing until I got the phone call asking me if I wanted to join. An idea that was with our current president, right? President Obama, President George W. Bush. This is something the Space Force, Space Corps, whatever you want under. Like it's been an idea that's been in duration since it's just been September uh, September 15th. That was when I transferred over. Before then, I was a space system operator in the Air Force. Then I became Space Force. And I will not, like, even there's people, there's generals that didn't even think this was a thing. Still, like, Space Force? Copy that. So, I'll have the slides up here. Again, I'll just, you can just take notes. You understand? That's yes, All right. But yes, organization. How things are set up. How the Space Force is set up. So. What, what rumors, what have you heard about how the Space Force is set up compared to the Air Force? I know you guys are in basic training, so you probably have no idea how the Air Force is set up. Until it becomes a reality, it's just, it's just talk, right? So, the first lesson we'll be going over is Space Force organization. What, what, what does organization mean? This, this, Anybody, what does organization mean? Just give me, raise your hand, and tell me what you think the word organization. There you go. So, returning rooms, reports of order, how it's set up. How it's set up, right? So, that is how, so yeah, you can take notes, but you guys will have, you guys should have this lesson on your, on your iPads, Space Force Organization. To America's newest airmen and space professionals, congratulations and welcome. In a few minutes, when you raise your hands to take the oath of office, know that our Air Force and Space Forces are stronger than we've ever been as you've joined our ranks. Every basic military training class graduation is an important and inspiring event as these new airmen and space professionals represent the future of our two services. However, this graduating class is historic as this is the first class to send seven of our nation's finest directly into the United States Space Force. If I could spend just a minute talking to the seven of you that are joining our ranks, I couldn't be more excited for you. We are just 10 days away from our first birthday, and you are a plank holder in the nation's newest service since the Air Force was established in 1947. I need you to be bold. You will help us build this service from the ground up. You will help us define our warfighting culture. You will build the Space Force as the first digital service. You will lay the foundation of a service that is innovative and can go fast in order to stay ahead of a significant and growing threat. And you, if deterrence fails, will fight and win the battle for space superiority, which is so vital to our nation, our allies, and our joint coalition forces. The nation expects you to deliver dominant space power. But you won't do this alone. You will do this with the airmen you are surrounded by today. As airmen and space professional, our origins will forever be entwined. We share the highest perspectives, the fastest speeds, and the farthest reach. Together, the space and air forces will deliver great advantage to our nation. We will set the joint warfighting standard, and you will help us build two services that together, built on trust and confidence, are unbeatable. So to the entire class, please know how proud we are of you and how grateful we are of your service. You have already demonstrated with the support of your family and your military training instructors that you are capable of responding to extraordinary times with incredible strength, resilience, and fortitude. I wish you all the best in the future, and I'm excited for you. If I could trade places with you and start fresh, I would do so without batting an eye. You have the world at your fingertips, 
serve well, and go do great things. I look forward to serving with each and every one of you. So I just have one question for you. Are you ready to join the ranks of the world's greatest air and space forces? Hey,